Hey there, Capricorn. Uh, my name is Kim. I'm going to do your reading for November 24th and 25th. Um, if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and keep like-minded souls together. Oh, perfect. Right away. Right away. Healer of the ages. You can take this as to who you think it means. I do think it has a little bit of a religious context behind this card. Um, I would, would, you know, when I see this card, I would think any miracle is probably possible at this time. Let's get your wisdom of the oracle. Or suggesting to pray to your spiritual group to help you with something, an issue. Um, okay, let's... <sighs> Capricorn for their highest good. Wow. Deep knowing. This is that card about intuition. So pretty. It's got like a little face on the moon. There's two moons. Hmm. And the owl always representing uh, wisdom. 43. And doing something without even being noticed. All right. Deep knowing, deep knowing is intuition, listening to the oracle within, empathy, empathy, hypersensitivity. It says intuition is the faculty that allows you to enter into the dialogue with source, the consciousness that you are a part of but cannot see with the naked eye. It's perplexing. People are taught to ignore this natural capacity to navigate your journeys, to access your inner guidance. Know that you do have an ability to read between the lines and fill in the truth that was missing when the story was told. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's neat. Okay. It says you're... You're given information that may make no sense what, whatsoever to the logical mind or five senses, but which is 100% correct and true. The trick is to listen and then act accordingly. You're now invited to this into this sacred dialogue of deep knowing. So tune in and trust your vibes. They will be right. Ask and you will receive answers from unusual sources. Neat, Capricorn. There's a little mystery and magic in your spread. For Capricorn, for Capricorn's highest good, angels, spirit guides, anyone that wants to help us with the positive message for our dear Capricorns. All right. First card is going to represent the situation. For Capricorn. Got yeah, Ace of Pentacles, something to do with your money, how you make money, concerns about money. Let's do the challenge. Hmm. Challenge is work. This is not necessarily work that has been paid for yet. This is work that's been done in the past that will receive money for it. And then here's the forgiveness card, judgment, and the the um card of second chances to me it's like your first aid assist from the divine and it might have something to do with your work and claiming your ace of pentacles your big opportunity what's advice from spirit knight of swords cut something out of there's something out that needs to be cut out of your life knight of swords could be talking about libra gemini or aquarius um a little bit of an immature uh, night this night does things um, without much tact but they are well thought out his eye is on the target so keep your eye on the target and cut out anything that you need to cut out and we have justice on the bottom don't know if that means anything for you Capricorn for your past way of dealing with things some deceit deceit possible stealing away with something it wasn't yours or vice versa the energy um all right let's move on from the seven of swords to the future oh nice future spot we have three of cups we have getting along harmony and reunion celebration 
people getting along, people coming together to celebrate, to make new memories. No more deceit, deceit card. Let's look at your probable outcome. Okay, we got two. Ooh, oh wow, wow. Well, they are having a conversation. There's the king and queen of pentacles. You can't make this shit up. Then there is the ace of pentacles right there as your situation. And then you get that. You get the power couple <laughs> that has money that definitely has their material items completely in check. Wow. Really nice reading for you. And let's go ahead and get your um, ace of swords is on the bottom. Just to let you know. Let's get your tea leaves. Or your tea cards. And you know, instead of cutting something out, Knight of Swords can simply mean eye on the target. It can mean that. Okay, February for somebody. Hills, obstacles to overcome. Target, goal oriented person. I like that Knight of Swords. Parrot, somebody gossiping about you. Um, I don't know what that's about, but Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a special gift. Mountain, major challenge to overcome. Wall, a misunderstanding. And Vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. And this is all just about worry. It's about going into the future, too much worry. And then we go into our past and get us get depressed about how things were. So always get help if you need help with that stuff. All right. Um, much love and light your way. Thank you, Capricorn.